morning and happy Monday. So on Wednesday or Thursday, I'm not exactly sure, we are supposed to be having a hurricane. Hurricane Milton is making its way uh, to Florida. It's currently in the Gulf of Mexico right now. And um, I'm a little worried about it. I have to say, I know that we just had Helene and so we were not affected by Helene um, like other parts of the country were. However, we will be affected by Milton. And uh, right now it looks, I don't know, you look at the map and it looks like really, uh, it's worrisome. You know, I'm very worried about it. I know that from what, everything that I'm reading currently, when it hits us, it should be a category one, which we've dealt with category one hurricanes in the past. We've been totally fine. But this one is like a direct hit, or at least currently it looks like it's gonna be a direct hit. And it's just gonna affect the entire state, it looks like. So, I don't if know. If you clarify that, say it'll be a category one when it hits central Florida. It'll be a category three when it hits the west coast of Florida. Right, so once the hurricanes like like make landfall, once they touch land, they usually will like lose some of their power. Living inland a little bit, although Florida is like pretty long and skinny, so there's not a lot of inland, you know, we still get the um, advantage of it being on land a little bit longer before it hits us. But uh, I don't know, I'm still very worried about it. We are prepared, we have water, we have solar at the house, so we have our backup battery. We should be able to not lose power where we live. The power lines are buried underground, so we it, makes, it helps to not lose power when the power lines are underground. We have plenty of food, you know, I, I don't know, but I'm still, I'm still a little bit nervous. So we're headed up to Disney Springs right now because we have an event that we are covering, but then afterwards we're gonna head home and, and get like ready for the storm. We need to cut some palm trees back. We need to put some stuff in the garage, take some stuff from like out in the patio and stuff like that. But for the most part, I think that's all we have to do. Yeah. And then it's just waiting. I think that's been the worst part about this specific hurricane is knowing it's like looming over us. Do you know what I mean? Like seeing the map, seeing where it is, knowing that it's coming and it's just so slow. So you're just kind of like waiting. It's like the waiting game. You're just waiting for this thing to come and you're waiting for the damage to happen so that you can like pick up the pieces afterwards. But I'm, I, I think that that's, and it gives you so much anxiety. It's like the anxiety of like, okay, it's Monday. We're supposed to get it on Wednesday. That's like a whole 48 hours that we just have to wait and think the absolute worst. And it's just very nerve wracking, especially with two little kids that you can't really, it's hard to explain, you know, storms are hard to explain, especially Oliver, you can't explain anything to him really. But with Jackson, at, you know, he's watching, seeing things about the hurricane. It, I know that he's feeling a little bit of like confusion and, you know, anxiety I think also and so it's just I don't know it's just tough it's been tough this storm has been tougher than others because he's so aware so yeah we're uh and he keeps asking like is it a category four what category is it you know what will we'll, when is school closing you know he just has all these questions about I don't know I can't answer some of the questions right because we don't know yet as of yesterday it was supposed to make landfall Wednesday morning. Now it's gonna make landfall Wednesday night. So like, who knows when they're gonna close down schools. Are they gonna close them down on Wednesday and Thursday? Are they gonna close them down on Thursday? What are they gonna do? Well, and it just, it's like, we literally are just waiting. You're just waiting and waiting and waiting for this like bad thing to happen. Like, you know the bad thing is out there in the ocean and then you're just like waiting for it to come. <laughs> and, and it's like, awful. I don't know. I, I really dislike, um, it's great to be able to prepare. I will, I will say that it's great to be able to prepare for a hurricane. You know, it's coming, you can see it coming, but it's also just like waiting for it to actually come is the worst. So anyway, long story short, that's how we are prepping for the storm. The storm should be here in a few days. And right now we are headed over to Disney Springs and we're actually going to go eat at eat. They invited us out to have lunch. So we're going to go head out there. Uh, and then we also have to grab our magnet for the the Muppets magnet like series that's releasing. We have a friend. Four of them. We have a friend that asked us to grab all the magnets for him, so we're gonna go do that. And then I also, if there's time, depending on the weather, uh, we might head over to Salt and Straw and have a a little bug filled ice cream. Ooh. I don't know. We'll see if we have time. I want to do that. A little bit of a swarm before the storm. <laughs> I just feel like I, I want a little treat. I'm so stressed <laughs> That's out right gonna now. That's going to be your little treat? Yeah. With some bug ice cream? I'll take what I can get, you oh, know? Okay. 
but I'm just I've just been so stressed. This has just been a stressful time. So yeah, that's that's how we're doing in our this neck of the woods. How about you? Mondays, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'll show you what the weather currently looks like. And this has nothing to do with the hurricane. No? No, this is just how our weather is. Oh. So Tim was just saying that this weather has nothing to do with the hurricane, but I thought it did. That's why I was showing it to you. This is just Monday. Yeah. <laughs> just a rainy Monday. It's just another rainy Monday. Ooh. I, I wish it was Sunday. Ooh. Cause that's my fun day. <laughs> so, uh, alright. Just another rainy well, Monday. We'll see you at Disney Springs. All right, we just parked at the Orange Garage. Uh, had the best garage. I, I don't know why Tim is so partial to the Orange Garage. It's, it's just better. It's the just, only thing that I wish it had was the- uh, Oh no, is the, it too windy? It's too loud. Oh, okay. The only thing that I wish it had was the bathroom underneath the stairs, like oh, they have yeah. the Lime Garage. That's okay. Well, you can't have, can't, can't have you can't it all. You can't have everything. It's true. You're gonna have to come back and go here. Why? Because you're going to New York. And I, I'm gonna, they're inspired by the Arctic. Yeah. I think when I, oh, okay, so people were asking where I got my raincoat, and I got it here at Columbia. This is the new version. I have the old version. I got it like four years ago. Yeah, this is the new Mickey Outdoor line. Yeah, it's so cute. I like the hat. It's cool. It says Mickey's Outdoor Club. I think it's so fun. I love it. Over here at Ever After, you make your own headbands in there, and some of the more popular ones have been the characters from Inside Out 2, but I like these Baymax ones. Those are fun. And then also, you can see it right through the window right there. They oh, have the, oh yeah, let's go in. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just like filming them through the window. Eh, hello. They have the Little Words Projects bracelets, but they have their, they got the, the Disney aspect to them. Oh, but what's this? Let's see Daisy. Daisy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I love Lucky this. Duck for Donald. Garsh. Garsh for Goofy. Oh, cute. Best Pal for Pluto. Besties for just you and your bestie. See, you could just put like 40 of these across your headbands. <laughs> All right, so we're headed to the co-op. I'm gonna get my face painted. I kind of want to get my face painted one day. Yeah. Not today, today's not a good day for it, like but. Yeah, I think I would want to be, um, ooh, maybe the, oh yeah, the T-Rex. Oh man, I don't know, there's Nothing so many good trouble. choices. I like that, it's not exactly stitched. Which one? The top one. Oh, that's funny. The dark fairy. Ooh. Not quite Maleficent. I think I would be the butterfly lady. Not the snow queen? No, I think I'd be the butterfly lady. Oh. A snake. Ooh, Hades. Ooh. This is like a fun game. This is a fun game. Who else? Oh, Princess Kitty. Princess Kitty. Oh, Tinkerbell. This she's kind just, of she's like just right on there. Buzz Lightyear, Puppy Pal. Oh. This is fun. Tropical Princess. Oh, from, I love it. Uh, oh. Moana. Dragon Man. Yeah. Cute. Rainbow Wishes. I like that one. Okay, we got to do it. That'll be a video for us one day. Just dress up, at, get your face painted at Disney Springs, yeah. and then go eat at like. STK. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're headed into the co-op though to grab our, or to get our order started for our Muppet magnets because it does take a little bit of time for them to make them. Yeah. And then we're gonna get some lunch and then we're gonna head back and grab them. All right, so as soon as you walk into the co-op, if you guys aren't familiar, it's like a bunch of different little shops inside of a big building. All right, so we're headed into the D-Tech On Demand and this is where you make your magnets. But you head over to the maid booth and you get your maid to order Magnets. These are the oh, baby Skeeter's still there. Oh, good. good. That's what we needed. Because that's number four. We've got three at home. Four, five, and seven. We got to get six somewhere in there uh -oh. too. Six is not gone, but okay. we can do it. Okay, yes. let's do it. We're gonna go get our Confirm magnets. order. This one. Okay. Another one. Order another one. So we got our. Sorry, the lighting is so bad. Look at this cool machine. This is where they print them. Yeah. This is like pretty heavy duty. So what did you get? You got, got Skeeter. Skeeter, and, and then, then we got Wayne and Wanda. Well, we this got was the display. They're sold out of this one. Yeah. So we they sold her. They were nice enough to sell us the display. Which is pretty amazing. Yeah. And this is my favorite one so far. I think that's why it's sold out. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. All right, we just finished eating at Eat. Now we're off oh, for I a little adventure. Yeah, we came for lunch. We came to eat at Eat. They invited us out for lunch. It was delicious. Spoiler alert. Unless you've already seen that video, then you know. But Ooh. we. Uh, which way yeah. we go? Let's uh, go this way. I don't know. We're gonna go try the, the bug ice cream now. Ooh, bug ice cream. <laughs> we were walking by the Rainforest Cafe and the alligator was moving. I missed it. But he was like doing a whole thing. He was like growling and opening his mouth. It's something sounds ominous. 
I don't know, it's cool. I'm sad I missed it. I feel like the volcano is about to erupt. I keep hearing like the, the noise. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. He's doing it. I didn't know he did this. Look at this Disney magic. Whoa, he's standing up on his legs. What the heck? I didn't know he did that. Whoa, that was awesome. Wow. Oh, we're passing by the Little Words Project has two kiosks. You can make your own bracelets. Here's some new Disney ones. Oh, there's Orlando Magic. The Orlando Magic? Shimmer, Karma. Oh, are these like the ones that are more um, themed to, yeah, they're themed to Taylor Swift, okay. Wish, Dream. Oh, so these are like the Disney Cruise Line. Oh, spooky. Hey, boo. All right, I love it. Well, I came into Salt and Straw. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, I just wanna try it's a taste of the bug one and see if I can eat a whole one. Yeah? So this one is the... Creepy crawly critters. So it's matcha with... Bugs. Bitter mealworm toffee. Mm. And what was the other thing? Chocolate covered crickets. So that's what that is. Yeah. Oh, it's a big one, look. It is a big boy. Did you get it? No, it's okay, good. Oh, it's pretty crunchy. <laughs> just cold, it's not gross, it's just cold. Um, wow, it doesn't taste like what I thought it would. It's like kind of nutty. Weird. Does the matcha have caffeine? It does. Okay. Okay, you're gonna try it? Alright, so I've had bugs before. <laughs> That's... Yeah. yeah. Traditional bug flavor. It's just a little nutty. Do you know the paper on the outside of peanuts? Yeah. That's what okay. crickets taste like. Oh no. Spooky. It's the great candy copia, Charlie Brown. <laughs> so this one had salted butterscotch ice cream, homemade Kit Kats, Reese's, Snickers, and Heath bars. So wait, are they all homemade? Like homemade Snickers, homemade yeah, Reese's? That's what she said. Whoa. That's like dedication. It looks yummy. It you tastes did... it tastes homemade. Like the peanuts are candied peanuts. Oh, are they? Yeah. So this is the kid size too. Yeah. All right, we're all done at Disney Springs. We had our little lunch. We had our we got our magnets. We had lunch, we didn't show you that, that's gonna be a different video. But then we also had our little taste of the buggy ice cream and now we're gonna go get Jackson from school and go back home and sort of prep more for the storm. I so was, so here's something that I'm uh, questioning, right? Oh, oh no, what? So there's these two trees back beyond our fence line. It's not on our property. It's on the neighborhood's property. And I was thinking, I might try to go back there and cut. One of them's already dead and it's already fallen, but it's kind of being held up by another tree. I want to like push it over and have it laying flat. Yeah. And the other one's just, just dead. So, here's my thought. Trees that fall during hurricanes are live trees because the reason that they fall is the leaves catch the wind and then the, the saturation of the ground loosens up the roots and the leaves are what like act like sails for the trees. Okay. That's why the trees fall over. This one doesn't have any leaves. It was a pine tree to begin with. So, should I go and cut it down? Do you think the wind wouldn't knock it? I don't know if the wind, it would be like if you had a straw and we're blowing on it, <sighs> the wind's going all around it, as opposed to if you had your hand, <sighs> like you can feel the wind more. Yeah, yeah. You know? Hmm, that's a good question. I don't know. Yeah. It's not my property. The whole thing is I don't I don't have a chainsaw to like go and cut it down. I have a sawzall that I could take back there and like. But the reason why I'm nervous because I'm I'm the one that was like maybe we should get rid of this tree or call somebody to get rid of this tree and we missed our time frame to do that. I don't think there's going to be any tree workers available now, but I don't want it to fall on our fence. That's right. my main thing is it the where the location that it's in it would fall on our fence. Right. And that's what I don't want to have happen because fences aren't cheap. Right. So to replace it would be annoying. Mm hmm. But yeah, we'll look at it when we get home, I think. I don't want it to fall on our papaya tree. No, me either. Because our or papaya, our, our trees are doing so good. They're really growing. Like, yeah. they're they're doing it. They're, they're thriving. Stri I almost said striving. <laughs> they're doing great. All right, we're going to go get Jackson from school. So, while we're driving home from Disney Springs, I wanted to, I had a few clips from home vlogs that we started to film, and then it didn't turn out to be a whole video. So it's just kind of like some random clips of things that we've been up to for the past two weeks that didn't make a full home vlog. So please enjoy that now while we're driving home, and then we'll get back into the, the storm prep. I figured we'd like lighten it up a little bit. 
and then get back into the storm prep. But we did some fun stuff, so enjoy our like random clips now. Good morning and happy Sunday. Today, we have swim lessons. So we're headed out the door to go to swim lessons and then we'll see, oh, 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 and right now, Oliver, okay, <laughs> hold on. Hold you? Yeah. You want to hold me? E-I-E-I-O. You want Alexa to play E-I-E-I-O? E -I -E what is that? Oh yeah, these are my keys. This is from when I used to have drive a Saturn. I used to drive a Saturn Ion. E-I-E-I-O. You want Alexa to play Old oh. McDonald it said E-I-E-I-O. Stop it. <laughs> Alexa, play Old McDonald had a fun. Oh, did you guys see Jackson's cool new Mario shoes? Let's see your shoes. I got the wrong size because in regular shoes he wears an 11, but in these, look how big they are. Let's listen to it in the car, okay? The back is too big. They're so big. <laughs> okay, all right, buddy, let's go get in the car and we'll ask Alexa in the car, okay? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is how Sundays go. On that farm, he had a. Why did you put it in jail? Because what's, what's mommy's There's other name? Oink here and an Jen. Oink oink here. So what does Jen start with? Jen. Well, that's right. Jackson starts with Jen. That's true. And, e -I -E -I and what's the with a bounce, jewelry bounce here and That bounce is there. just for fun. Here a bounce, there a bounce, uh, over a bounce, bounce, over Old McDonald had a bar. E -I -E -I -O. What else? A bug. A bug? What does a bug say? <laughs> what kind of bug is that? Oh no, oh it's a Jammy Sammy. So Oliver loves to sing, so does Jackson. Okay, so that's how Saturdays and Sundays usually are, is just wild and chaotic. So that's usually why we don't film, because it's like this. <laughs> All right, good morning. Good morning. Today's the big day. Yeah. We're picking up our trailer for our golf cart. Oh, don't mind it. It's got some stuff in it at the moment. Yeah. Well, but we got the golf cart insured. Yeah. We are buying a trailer. Yeah. So we can uh, travel with our golf cart. Yeah. We're going to take it to the fort the next time we go to the fort. Yeah. And then, what else? We got a nail in our tire. I know. Screen. So we, <laughs> we were going to school. We were taking Jackson to school and it was like low pressure. I said, I hope there's not something in the tire. I get out of the, the car and what do I see? A screw right there. What the heck? So now I have to fit. I have like a patch kit somewhere. I just gotta find it. Oh no. Yay. <laughs> Good morning. All right, here's the state of the patch. I always think these patches look so wild. Wow. So that patch didn't go in as nice as I would have liked it to have. I think it's gonna hold just fine, but I do, there's another patch just like that in another tire. I think I need to make an appointment with like the tire place to have yeah. them like go and take those patches out and put one on the inside. Cause mm -hmm. like these are, if you imagine there's a hole like this, right? And there's a plug like this, it's like a cork, right? It could come out. Oh no. But if this is the inside of the tire and you put a patch here and the air is pushing against it like that. Oh yeah, yeah. It can't come out. That's what, that's like the correct way to do it. This is like for off-road use only. Oh. So like. I should probably get them fixed. Yeah. You know, it's just, the heck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it is a few hours later. We are now the owners of a, a golf cart trailer. We own a trailer for our golf cart. It's exciting, exciting day. Can't wait to use it. Now we are headed over to Tim's parents' house to pick up Tim's dad because he's gonna come over and spend the night because tomorrow we have something fun that we're doing kind of early in the morning. We're gonna go on a VIP tour to Disney World, and your dad's gonna come. Yeah, you excited? Be pretty excited. Yeah, I'm excited. Oh. Hey, bud. <laughs> he said, "Hey, I'm here. I'm here. Look at me." Oh. You just wanna give mommy a little yeah. light? Yeah. Oh no. You wanna talk? From you wanna say hello? Yeah. Say, hello. Hello. Can you show everybody how you tell me that you want more of something? Oh. How do you say more? More. Can you tell me how you say more with your hands? More. Good job, very good. good. I was so impressed with him today. So Jackson did get a keyboard and we're learning how to play. What song are we learning how to play? Show me, show me how much you know. Right here? You ready? Ooh, 
that sounded awesome. <laughs> you made me do death. <laughs> Two at the same time. Yeah. It actually sounded kind of cool. It sounded a little spookier because that was the song for what? Luigi's Mansion. Luigi, is that your favorite song? I think it is. This kid is very musically inclined. Mm. Who did he get that from? Him. Oliver, wow. Yeah. Okay. Oliver, are you ready? Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. <laughs> Can you sing it? Look at this. Wow, buddy! You so, can also do three at the same time like this, buddy. Listen. I'm very impressed with both of them. Oliver times. loves music. He's great that. with like tone and knowing songs. He can he knows a song Whoa, if he hears it one time. Sounds like Super Mario song. What did it? Yes. I love Good it. Job. Okay, right, let's let's let's, the let's take it into the car and we can play the piano in the car. You can you can entertain us. You can play the piano in the I car. Actually, that's three surprises. Yeah, well, that's part of your. Of oh your... yeah, that's. Do you want to wear this? Uh huh. You want to wear okay. it to dinner? Uh huh. Oh okay. Pretty cool. Actually. <laughs> All okay. right, let's go get in the car because we're gonna head over to Tim's parents. Ooh, we're gonna have some ooh, dinner. We're gonna take ooh, you along. Ooh, on, oh, on your, your on your boo boo. I touched it on accident. Oh no. He boo-boo off. He, 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 does. he wants us to take his boo-boo off. He did scrape his knee at the playground. So, he said, wow. I think he, because he likes to run and he fell when he was running because he's also, we go oh. In the trailer we can't ride in the trailer, but we can ride in the car with the trailer behind <laughs> you. Good afternoon. Today, you're going to do something that you've never done before. So recently we've been checking out some Orlando, like some Orlando businesses that focus on like wellness, health, beauty, s stuff like that. And so recently we went to the Orlando Beer Spa yeah. and that was like a fun kind of different place to have spa style treatments. I think they were spa treatments. Yeah. They just happened to have like ingredients that you, you know, you make beer with. So it was kind of like a fun you know, different way to do those things. So today we're gonna to be talking about another small business and it's called I Create Her. And they basically do like lash lifts and tints and lash extensions. They do brow laminations. They also do permanent jewelry, which Ooh. never, I've never actually, I didn't know that was a thing. So yeah. that's, that's pretty cool. But they also do other services as well. Today I am going to be getting uh, lash extensions so I do have, I, like I, I am a natural blonde. My hair was like, it, like white when I was a child. And my, though my hair has darkened, my eyebrows and my eyelashes never did. Right. So I'm sure a lot of people out there who wear eye makeup know, have probably had this happen to them where if they're not wearing mascara or they haven't like drawn their brows on, people are like, are you okay? You look sick. And so what happened? That happens to me a lot actually. So if you look, you can see that my lashes are very light. They're also very straight and they're very short. And that's just something that I was born that way. <laughs> so I've always wanted to try lash extensions or even a lash lift. I really was curious about the lash lift and tint. However, my lashes were not a good candidate because they are so short and so straight. The, the shortness, I wasn't gonna get enough of like a, a lift. So that's unfortunate. But I was very excited to try the extensions. That was just something that I've never done before. And I know a lot of people do it all the time and it's really like a normal thing. I've just never done it. So, and then I'm also going to be doing brow lamination. So I'm excited to wake up and just look like I have makeup on. Yeah. I just don't even have to like get ready. I just wake up and I'm ready. Yeah. Ready to go. Yeah, ready, ready roll to start. out of bed, stumble <laughs> to the kitchen. That's like what I'm really excited about. So come with me to I Create Her in Avalon Park. It's their new location. So I'm excited to see that. And let's go get these brows ex laminated and lashes ex extended. So you're gonna go get Jackson from school? Yeah. I'm gonna go get my, uh, my. I'm gonna go get a transformation. I'm gonna go get your lash on. Yeah, I'll be right back. Well, I, you'll see, we'll be there. I'll see you. Okay. I'll, I'll be right back for you. Yeah. Okay, all right. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> so we are here in Avalon Park at the I Create Her studio. So exciting. Oh, this is the permanent jewelry I was telling you about. Oh, I love that. You can do friendship bracelets. Oh, cute. I'm gonna have to bring my friend here. This is so fun. All right, let's head inside. Okay, so they're open pretty much 10 to six almost every day, except for Saturday and Sunday. The hours are a little different. And then they have all these fun products here. Some little headbands and candles. They do brow threading. I've never done that before. 
And then this is their little waiting area. And here's where they do the permanent jewelry. How fun. So we're headed back. Oh, look, it's like a little spoolie. All right, here I go. This is where we'll be. Perfect. Oh, it does. It feels like a spa. All right, so we're back in the room. I showed you the room where I'm gonna be, I guess napping is kind of like what's gonna happen here. So here's Andrea. So you are the, the owner of this beautiful place. Yes, I am. <laughs> and we are gonna be doing a lamination and we're gonna be doing also a thread for her. And then after that, we're gonna do a classic lash full set. I can't wait. They fall out just like the hair on your head. Yeah. Basically the exact same. So we wanna make sure that like every lash is attached one lash on top of one lash that's kind of why we make sure that like these that our products are um i'm doing your brows oh okay. yeah yeah so we want to make sure that it's completely safe for you so we isolate every individual lash on them in like two minutes and then we will see okay and i should keep my eyes closed yeah you okay. can it, it helps with like relaxing. How do I look? To the work you look great. Or did she just look <laughs> around? I wouldn't. That's totally fine. What a cute design for you. <laughs> so you do the lamination and then you thread them? Yep. That's like the, the process and then then you would tint them if that's exactly. what you were doing? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're in the middle of the process now. I'm about to get them threaded, see, which I've never done before. So I'm hard. interested to see how that feels. I'll definitely still have to draw them in, but mm -hmm. yeah. But it's good. Same, yeah, it's shape, good. shape is very nice. Yeah, I have the actual shape now. Yeah. yeah. There you go, look. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? It is, yeah. thank you. She's so good at what she does. Yeah, it feels, um, it, it honestly it didn't hurt so bad. It was a little uncomfortable, mm -hmm. but it's, you know, beauty is pain. <laughs> oh. And so how long does this process take? Okay, so depending on your natural hair, mm -hmm. It could be anywhere between an hour and 20 minutes open to two and a half hours, depending on what we're doing also to your lashes. So okay. like we're doing classic lashes, it should probably only take me about an hour and 15 to 20 minutes. So this is the bottom patch. We put this on to protect the bottom lashes because we're not lashing the bottoms. Walk in. The both services took like roughly two hours. The eyelashes took about an hour and a half. So the eyebrows were a little bit of like a quicker service, but I love the way that the eyelashes turned out. Look at my, I've, I'm extended, <laughs> look at my eyelashes. It, it's weird because I, um, I like have eyelashes now. And before I did it, they were kind of like half of an eyelash. That's just how I was born. So it's nice to have, <laughs> it's nice to have like real eyelashes. It, it feels different for sure, but it looks so great. It looks very natural. I asked her if I could have a more natural look because I have definitely seen lashes that were more of like a glam, kind of like, like wow. And I don't know that I am ready for that. And I don't know how that would really look on my face, but I love what she did. I think she did a really great job and she really listened to everything that I said. And I love the way that they turned out. Um, I think that it's gonna be so nice to wake up and not have to, I don't really wear makeup, but now I, I really don't have to put on makeup. And so I think that's gonna be 
like take so much time off my day. <laughs> I'm very excited. Something else that I thought was really cool that I didn't realize she mentioned they do, if you come in and you mention my name, they will give you $20 off of your first time. So if you've you know, come in for the first time and get your, your um, extensions or your service, your first time service done, you'll get $20 off. That's pretty fun. And then they have this too. It's a brow loyalty card. So anytime you get your brows done, you get a little, you know, you can get a free one once you hit, what is that, 10? Your 10th one is free. All right, I hope you enjoyed seeing what we've been up to the past few weeks. We did lots of fun things. I want to say a big thank you to I Create Her for bringing me out and letting me get my lashes extended and doing the uh, brow lamination. That was a lot of fun. I will link their information down below in the description box if you want to check it out for yourself. But now, let's get back into the storm prep. We did so much stuff today, like a lot. So check that out. Hello, good morning. It is the next day. We are currently getting ready for the storm. I'm making breakfast really quick. I'm just gonna have some eggs and toast, or English muffin. But Tim is... I have to clean out the ice maker because our ice maker doesn't really work. Yeah. But it like gets clogged. It gets, I don't know, ice, the ice well, gets frozen up at the top. This is an older, we brought this fridge from our old house so it's a little bit older. So the whole reason that I wanted to get the ice maker unclogged and running is because we went to the store today because my plan was if I bought ice too early, it would melt. Is it already making ice? It's doing something. <laughs> yeah. This is the ice making noise. So I wanted to go to the store and get ice today because then it would have a chance to stay as ice in the cooler. Yeah. Because we don't have space in the freezer to keep the ice. But that plant back right on me because they're out of ice. Yeah. <laughs> it, was a, it was a gamble. So I'm going to make ice as many times as I can today and fill up plastic bags with it and put that in the freezer, put that in the coolers outside. <laughs> Bring the coolers inside because they can't stay outside. Some other things we have to do today, it, we, we're all stocked up on food. We're stock, everything is charged. The cars are charged. Every electronic is charged. I wanted to download a couple of things for the kids in case the power does go out and we would have maybe some stuff to watch to keep them entertained. We have lots of books. Books are key um, when you don't have power, I feel like. I also checked the solar to make sure that it was working correctly. In normal times, what I had it doing was we have a backup battery in the garage for the whole house and I would have it run on the backup battery at night and then recharge that with the solar during the day. And I turn that off so that now the battery's just at 100% so that when the power goes out, it just goes off the battery and then the battery's like, if it goes out in the middle of the night and it was already using it, yeah, then it would only be like half full. So I think we'll be good to go now. I, I hope that we'll be okay. And then the only thing I'm truly worried about like are the winds. I'm really nervous about windows breaking and we have pretty good windows yeah we have storm rated windows like hurricane windows they're like double hung, double pane yeah and, double pane insulated but yeah. also like impact glass that's what it is impact glass and then we also have storm doors we just replaced all of our doors so those should be fine yeah and then uh we just got a new garage door so that's you gotta throw the bolts in the garage door yeah so that should be fine i, I really do think that we're gonna be okay i'm I don't know. <laughs> I have to trim these palm trees a little bit to make sure that they don't have as much as many leaves for the wind to catch. Yeah, and then I want to make sure because the, the last storm, it wasn't even like a, tro a tropical storm, it was just a rainstorm. It was hitting Jackson's window. Yeah. So I don't, and it was kind of scaring him. He's like, what's that? And I was like, oh, it's just the leaves. So we like looked out the window. I showed him it was just the tree. But yeah, we should probably trim that so it's not hitting his window. So that's what we're going to work on right now. We'll keep you guys updated. Got my Christmas shirt on. Oh yeah, Christmas. Is... Jackson picked out my outfit today. He picked all green. Look at you. He's like, I want you to wear every green item that you have. And I was like, all right, <laughs> let's do that. Okay, cool dude. Yeah, all yeah. right, so let's go get those trees trimmed. Let's trim those trees. All right, so I have some palm trees here. I'm going to, uh, I don't really have enough string. I have some twine and some like the string that you put on meat when you're cooking meat. So I'm gonna see if that'll work to kind of bundle everything up. And then I'm gonna put it next to the house so it doesn't blow away in the storm. All right, so Tim's getting some of the palms down. I should like Tarzan this thing. No! <laughs> there it goes. We got two bundles so far. Yeah. I have a feeling we're gonna have a few more bundles. I think you might be right. Yeah. So I've been lining them up for him and then he's been tying them down. Tying them down. All right, so far this is eight. All right, I didn't think we had this many palm fronds that needed to be cut down. It's looking pretty wild back here. I mean, it's not so bad. No? Oh, no There's so bad. many bugs. Oh, no. We're only going out for you. I know. It's because I'm... You gotta get stinky. Oh, no. <laughs> I want to jump in the pool. I think I'm going to jump in the pool after this. Oh, yeah? You yeah. Last chance before the storm. I know. That's what I was thinking, too. I'm ready. I do have to say, though, I think we're a great team. 
Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I think we, we should get married. We should get married. <laughs> oh, so many bugs. I think we just work really well together. Okay, here's our pile. It's a, it's a lot. So we, we put them in bundles of like together. four, and then he ratchet strapped it together. And so. this will be like a, not a wind free zone, but the wind will be less between the houses. Yeah. Because the wind blows this way during hurricanes. I think this will be good. So now, Whew. we did it. We did do it. Now we just gotta finish doing it. Yeah, we're not done. <laughs> All right, let's go get the stuff in from the patios. And then I think we're good. Yeah. And we gotta strap the chairs down in the patio. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. All right, and I wanted to show you the last of our prep. So we did have some coolers here. Spoiler alert, Tim moved the coolers and they just kind of sit here. We use them for like parties or get togethers or you know, whatever. And they usually have just like waters, drinks for the kids, stuff like that. When he moved them, a bunch of frogs had been living back there. So some frogs made it inside. So that was fun trying to get the frogs outside and back where they belong. Tim also took all of our patio furniture and he zip tied it all together. Let me see if I can show you. Wait, did he zip tie it? I don't know if he zip tied this. This he might've just stacked. So he did, he stacked it all together. And then this is what he zip tied. So he zip tied all of our bar stools to the actual bar. And then he zip tied them to our like outdoor couch. And he zip tied, oh, and then he, he ratchet strapped the tables to that. And then the uh all of the bar stools are zip tied to each other i did want to mention real quick i saw you out here showing the stuff that we tied down i yeah. did have to go and get more ratchet straps so this stuff's not tied down oh yet. i just i literally was like oh i thought these were tied down but so you haven't done that yet i haven't done that yet uh okay so, so not not entirely complete but like 90 percent complete so i think that's the last of everything that needs to be done yeah i think that's I think it right yeah it's just i have to strap, strap this stuff together and then mm -hmm. we're good to go so Tonight, we're gonna grill out some hamburgers because we did buy some hamburger meat before the storm. Yeah. So we're gonna do that. And then I think well, that's it. I think we're gonna call it a night. Yeah. I think that's gonna be it from us. Get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's just gonna be waiting. There's one of the frogs. Oh, no. You see it? Wait, wait. Oh, do you wanna oh, see no, him? Yeah, there he is. There's there a little is. frog. <laughs> so. A couple of those frogs made it inside when Tim moved the cooler inside. But they gotta go back outside. Sorry, little frogs, you live outside. So, uh, but yeah, so this is where we're gonna end this vlog, but we will vlog tomorrow. The storm isn't supposed to hit us until tomorrow evening, so we have some time. So Disney and Universal and a bunch of other places announced closures starting tomorrow. You, Disney was like halfway through the day. Mm -hmm. Universal was halfway through the day. So they are closing. Yes, yeah. So we're just gonna take it easy. Tomorrow's gonna be an easy day. We're gonna have an easy night tonight. And then we're just gonna kind of see what happens. So we'll keep you guys in the loop. We'll update you. But as for us, I think this is it for today. Yeah. Thank you all for hanging out with us. Thank you for prepping with us. Thanks and for getting ready with us. Yeah, we. Is that the right? This way? is, a, is this is not a this is not a get ready with no, me type no. of video. Not that kind of video. Kind of. Yeah. Get ready with me, Hurricane Prep Edition. Yeah. So all in all, it was a fantastic day. And with that being said, we're off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now, now it's time, time to pay the, the price. price.